Well, that's a fair question. We've worked on the shifter here, and the wiring for the trans brake, and the wiring for the rear marker light, and the wiring for the radio. We've got the go pedal hooked up. We worked on the front wiring here extensively. We've test fitted the battery, and this coming week we'll make some battery cables. This panel has been in and out a dozen times. It works well. I think we made a good design here. As I said before, we have worked on the throttle. We've got the spring tension just right. We've built this uh, intermediate panel uh, to make all the connections on, and we still have to do all this wiring over again. So that's going to be a major project. So what I'm going to do is all these projects have kind of merged into one project because we're just trying to get the thing done. I'm going to show as much as I can individual projects that were done this week. So I've broken it up into kind of chapters and I'll denote the chapters with titles. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please tell everybody about these videos. It really helps. If you like it, click the like and subscribe. So here we go. And yes, that's the right starter. Circuit breaker is here, so let's put it in. Now this is the bracket that we made for the uh, master switch. I'm just going to put the uh, circuit breaker right on that bracket. So. Now this is going to feed power to the whole rest of the vehicle. That will be the two hot leads from the battery coming in through the switch and out. So everything after this is switched and everything to this side is just battery and that's going to be like a six inch length of cable. This goes in here and it is keyed right there. So what I've just done is tighten this nut down on here. That's keyed. Alright, so we got this wire here that wants to come over to this lead right here. So right here is hot for the whole dragster, that feeds the whole dragster. And this is going to go Oh Lord the fool thought this thing up. Now we got to hook up the ground, the kill switch. And that one goes here. And this side. Okay. So now we got a kill switch hooked up. So this is chassis ground. This is starter, starter solenoid, and the rest we've all seen before. So now we have a circuit breaker feeding power to the whole dragster. Another step forward.
Good afternoon. We've worked on the project in the front. We're ready to run wires to the back. We need a place to run the wires. The wires from here go all over the place. They go to the shift light, they go to the trans brake, they go to the gauges, they go to the backup light, they go to neutral safety. Bunch of stuff happens right here. This used to be the old panel that the MSD box mounted on. We had the MSD and the coil was right here. Uh, shift lights went from here, so we used this plate to mount the old MSD box on. This monstrosity was my old control panel, if you will. And I had relays that turned the fan on, the water pump on, uh, the primer pump on, and I don't know, is that something else? But we don't need these anymore. We're going to run heavy gauge wire with heavy gauge switches with no relays, so we're going to eliminate all that. This is, all goes away. So we need a place to mount it. And quite frankly, I just don't think that's big enough. I don't think it's big enough. It's a nice location. So we went and bought a piece of metal. And we are going to make a new piece that goes here. We're going to use the same fastening points. We're just going to bring it back a little bit further and a little bit further down, just to make the area a little bit bigger and use that for our mounting point. So here we go. We're going to lay out this metal piece from the cardboard pattern that we made. And the advice was given to me is to always make things big. You can always cut it down. So you want to add a little bit on each edge. I don't know if you can see it, but by taking the pen, I'm putting it on the edge of the piece of cardboard and the tip is about a sixteenth of an inch further away. Okay, now for some, I'll clean this up a little bit and I'll put a radius on those two corners and then I'll do some cutting. This is turning into more of a blog than projects. One kind of blurred into another one because we're just trying to make progress here. And I've kind of accepted that I'm not going to make maze rays. But I did move this throttle cable, uh, the fire bottle cable. This now slides in here very nicely. I can put everything that I need right here. I do lose the lower portion of it, but that's okay. I still have more space than what I had. And it goes in and out really nice. So I can mount stuff here. Um, the next step is to make the bends around the tubing here. So that's the, that's what we'll do next. <coughs> wow, excuse me. My son made this. We're going to use it to uh, put the little bends in the panels so it kind of looks like the original panel. So here we go, let's try it. Now it's just a matter of going up and uh, seeing if it fits. This is what we've been working on all day. This was the original panel here that had the MSD box mounted to it. And we've rerouted these cables down here so we got more clearance. And we're going to bring the wiring harness back here and we'll mount our terminals here. But we didn't have a lot of room. So what we did is we enlarged the original piece. So this is the piece that was in there. And this piece is not straightforward. There's curves all over it and holes. 
and we made it so it would fit right into here. And now we have a great deal more area to mount stuff. We can secure these cables. We can mount the uh, terminals right there. Um, so that'll work out really nice. So now we gotta go powder coat this and this will be ready to go. We'll start working on uh, terminating wires tomorrow. So I'm at the stop point. I'm going to tighten down the tension. In the last one, I think the test piece was two passes. Okay. And now I'll tighten this one so we don't have chatter. All right. So you see it move? Yeah, I did. Look at that. Yeah. Maybe we're biting off more than we should at once. All right, bring it back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. I'm gonna go quite far enough at a time. No. Just a little more. Yeah. Okay. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Okay, one time back now. More. More, 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 more. Beautiful. You're happy with that depth? Look at that. Beautiful. Hey. I only wandered a little a ton. Should I go through it again real quick? They sent me this. Terminals were on the wrong side. Verified that it was boxed wrong. Sent it back to them. They charged me a restocking fee. Sent me a new one. The new one has two different bolts in the end. And the bolts take two different size Allen wrenches. And the terminals are in a different spot. I'm probably gonna end up with this starter. So I'm gonna wire it this way. And I'll wire it this way so that if this starter has to go in as a spare, I'll have extra cable. And one other thing, the battery cable comes from this direction, the solenoid battery wire comes from this direction. So this one, if I wire it like that, here, and I put this starter in, it would be too short to put that in. Okay, I'm done griping. On to the dragster. <laughs>